Yo, what's up guys, Tezo here, and today I'm going to be talking about a theory that John will actually marry Sansa and not Daenerys. Now that R plus L equals J is confirmed, John and Sansa are actually cousins. They don't know this yet, but with Bran coming down from the wall, they will most likely find out very soon. Cousin marriage is widely common throughout the story, and is considered acceptable. We also have to look at the fact that Sansa was already planning on marrying her cousin, Robin Aaron. So it seems like she is definitely okay with being married to a family member. When John and Sansa were children, they were never too close, so they don't consider each other siblings. Sansa always referred to John as her half brother. She never considered him close family. In the latest episode, Sansa tells John she considers him a Stark, but that doesn't mean she considers him her brother. And now we're going to look at some hints that go back to season one. Sansa always grew up dreaming of marrying a prince and becoming queen. Because Lyanna and Rhaegar are Jon's parents, Jon is actually in the line of succession for the Iron Throne, as long as the secret wedding happened, which it most likely did. So that would make Jon a prince of the Seven Kingdoms. If Sansa marries Jon, she will be marrying a prince and become Queen of the North. This would fulfill everything she wanted as a child. She always calls herself stupid for wanting this, and it has come up throughout all the seasons, keeping us reminded that she had this dream, and that this was her vision for what she wanted in life. This is most likely the writer's way of saying don't forget that she wanted this as a child, and foreshadowing what still will happen. With Jon and Sansa being married, all of their children would have Stark Targaryen blood. This would be the strongest alliance between the two most powerful houses of the North and the South. So if Danny rules the South and Jon rules the North with Sansa, they would always have that support for each other that Ned and Robert had. Like said in season 1, Robert's and Ned's friendship kept the kingdoms together. It would only make sense for the ruler of the north and the ruler of the south to have some connection, but I don't think Danny and John would ever marry each other simply because they would want to be together and one of them wouldn't want to be in King's Landing while one of them is in the north. Yes, the marriage would be political and they wouldn't have feelings for each other right away, but something that has come up multiple times throughout the course of the story is that love grows over time with marriage. And another piece of evidence is that John already likes redheads. So that basically summarizes everything and all the evidence towards this theory. Please leave a comment down below stating what you think, leave a like on this video, and subscribe for more Game of Thrones related videos.